Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a dying ember You coming to say hello to the vlog? Say hello vlog! Did you have a nice walk this morning? You are just the cutest boy in the world. Right, well, I need to get ready for the day. We've had a nice long walk this morning in the rain. It is September and welcome to what is possibly the best month of the year because it's the start of the burr months, the cozy months. And oh my god, guys, I cannot wait. It's my favorite time of the year. We're starting off with a little tickle in the old throat. Tom's been poorly for the last few days and I just was like, I'm not coming near you, I am avoiding it. And then for the, well, I'd say actually for the last week or so he's been ill. And then a couple of days ago, I started with a, a little tickle in the throat, but I feel like I'm, don't wanna, I <laughs> just did the biggest burp out there. <laughs> Um, I don't want to jinx it or anything, but I feel like it could be passing. Oh, I said it. I said it. Watch me throughout this video deteriorate. <laughs> feel worse. Anyway, I um, wanted to welcome the start of September with a brand new video for the start of this month and kind of prep the house for autumn we're going to do a bit of cleaning a bit of organizing and sorting out maybe take down some bits where i'm thinking autumn decor can go carrying on sorting out the autumn decoration that from the storage room up into what i'm doing in the black room if you've seen my previous vlogs you'll know what i mean and basically prepping the house for autumn may even hopefully get round to taking out some summer bits from my wardrobe, popping them away and getting out some cozy knitwear. I do have a H&M delivery arriving today, so when that is here, I will show you that too. But yeah, welcome to today's video. Welcome to September, the first video of September. Um, I am gonna get ready this morning, and whilst I do so, I thought I would tell you about the dinner that we had last night, because it was absolutely delicious. Before I go in with that, I'm just gonna pop it in the sun. Face base from Bobby Brown. Anyway, yeah, HelloFresh are very kindly sponsoring today's video. We did have a HelloFresh recipe yesterday, which was so, so delicious. And I also have an incredible offer with them again. So for those of you that have never tried HelloFresh before, uh, I have a really good offer that you're not gonna wanna miss, especially if you've been thinking about trying HelloFresh anyway. So my offer this time round with my discount code, which I will leave on screen and linked in the description box below, will get you 60% off your first box, as well as 25% off your next eight boxes. So I'll leave a link as well to them so you can go direct to HelloFresh's website. And if you're watching on a TV, I'll leave a little QR code on screen that you can just simply scan. So if you don't know what it is and do want to try it out, HelloFresh is a subscription service that delivers food straight to your door every single week meals that you can cook at home really nice and full of fresh ingredients so everyone's getting back into the routine back into the swing of things with it being early september schools are back all of that kind of jazz the perfectly portioned food delivery in meals straight to your door just is one less thing to even have to think about especially if you're like a family you want to take the hassle out of like a supermarket shop and trying to like figure out what you want to eat that week it kind of just does all that for you so um yeah you get your food delivered and then you get recipe cards with a number which corresponds to the numbered bag which has the ingredients in you do several like options I know uh, the premium option is always nice to have. Um, I quite like the quick rapid recipes, which are like 20 minutes, nice and easy peasy. The one that we had last night was a pasta, but also chicken dish that kind of like combined the two. And it was palm ham wrapped, chicken wrapped in palm ham that was delicious. So, so nice. And it's just really easy to be able to follow the step-by-step -step instructions on the card with imagery as well. So even if you're a novice in the kitchen and you're not 
classing yourself as a chef, you don't need to do so. You can even pick up um, a tip or two and learn something along the way. So I would highly recommend HelloFresh. We love getting it. We actually get it for two people and we get three meals per week. But again, you can tailor that to you and your needs. I'm gonna go in with the Vita Liberata Beauty Face Blur in light. I think they do light, medium and dark. So I might try the medium maybe for when I'm a bit more tanned, but yeah, it's a really nice kind of like base product. So yes, that is HelloFresh. It is something that I would definitely recommend you try and incorporate into your routine with that incredible offer that I currently have with them. So thank you to them for offering you guys such an incredible discount but also for kind of working with me on today's video. I'm gonna carry on getting ready for the day. Yeah, it's a really nice like sheen on your face, that product. I'm gonna carry on getting ready for the day and um, I need to do my hair still. I'm only gonna do like a light coverage of makeup today because I'm not really planning on going out and about too much. I might pop to Home Bargains just to stock up on a couple of cleaning products. Also, I've seen that Home Bargains have been getting out some of their like autumn decor in stores, which looks amazing online, but the Home Bargains near me, there's like a couple, none of them are that good. They're always like the, um, I think the biggest store, the best store near nearest to me is a good long like 40 minute drive away and I just, not today. Maybe another day, but not today. I want to, maybe when they're like for the Christmassy bits. Oh, I did my nails yesterday. I used a new Build in a Bottle gel polish. So it's kind of sheer. You can kind of see the white tips of my nails underneath. This is three layers. I'll leave this one linked below. Um, I picked it up off Amazon. I have got like an Amazon storefront if you wanted to um, see what else is on there that I've been loving as well. But yeah, I think I'm going to get ready off camera because when I am on camera, I tend to waffle quite a bit. So I'm going to finish getting ready. Maybe in my next vlog, I'll do a bit more in-depth chit-chat of some of the products that I'm using because I'm not really using too much today. I'm just keeping it light and natural, you know? So maybe next, maybe next video, we'll have a bit more of a play around. I've got some new products that I've been using as well. So we'll keep trying those out and let you know how I get on with those properly. But yeah, so I will finish getting ready head over to Home Bargains and then get, get a crack a lack in. the oil from it but it's focaccia bread it's from one of our favorite bakeries to go to in didsbury called la chiquette and it's just gorgeous delicious looking like tomato focaccia just had to share that with you and guys if you are local to the didsbury area please try la chiquette french owned french run we go pretty much every week get some morning pastries and honestly chef's kiss Oh no, I don't have any butter, I don't think, unless Tom bought some yesterday, which I don't think he did. We keep our butter out of the fridge now. We used to always get like lurp out. Oh no, that is so disappointing. I probably could have it without, but it's just nothing quite like bread and butter.
that's coming from your mouth Don't mean to turn it upside down I really wanna hear you out I can't know how it is To be where you so calmly sit When I'm further in my own narrative Catching only part of it To just be to really see something other than just me. Got a couple of purchases for when I went to Home Bargains. Just stock ups really. Needed some more um, toilet bleach. So I'll put those in the bathrooms actually. Then these. Oh my goodness. Guys, I genuinely haven't seen this scent in so long that I just feel like when you see it, you've got to stock up. I mean, limited edition, how many years ago was it a limited edition? Unless they mean like a seasonal edition, but this is the perfect Sephora scent to feel cozy. So I'm going to pop some of that in the sink now and then, yeah, stocked up on a spare one as well. I did also get sent these, where are they? From, that these are from B&M. Really random PR package actually. But yeah, thanks to B&M for these. Got some new dishwasher tablets. Oh my god, that scent is just divine. I have to show you this, which was so adorable of Tom's mum. She'd created us this, this is lined, this basket. Um, she's created us this like little hamper of herbs, which is so, so nice of her. So we've been using these herbs to host, actually. It was looking a lot fuller than this, but we've been cooking and using these. Well, I say we, Tom has. Um, but yeah, as we did host... Tom's family recently. I just washed the runner along the table, which I've just um, brought out now. I've not ironed it, but I'm gonna put it back out and see how it looks. And then I was gonna pop this away to make room for autumn decor, but I think what I'll do is actually leave this out for now in the middle of the table. And I might fill it with just like white pumpkins or something. I think that might look quite nice as a centerpiece for this table, you know, like, when it's not in use and then when we actually use it for dining I can just remove the bowl with the pumpkins or whatever I use within here and um, have a bit more of a autumnal tablescape. I got these table runners. I actually need to get a proper one that fits this table. This is two table runners from Wilco's which I know they're, they've got their like closing down sales on at the moment so you might be able to get this for a bargain online. But yeah, it's only 180 centimetres long and this table is 270 length. So I have two of these and then I've just got one of their little placemats that I just pop like in the middle where the join is. had a delivery this is I don't know if you'll be able to tell there from that label I don't think you can it is from Amazon just arrived and I'm gonna pop it down the stairs I think I'm gonna to have to build it Ooh. it's a like a boot, um, a metal boot stand for our like walking boots and wellies which I'm gonna keep down in the utility room honestly the shoe storage down there we need to sort out a better solution. We've basically just got loads of shoes just in the way, on the floor, not looking nice. So I'm gonna have a sort through, build that, and then that'll at least free up some space. Um, I'll take that off. It's recycling in a minute. But yeah, let's get this built. I liked this one, and I went for this one because can tell from that image it's got storage underneath so we can put like trainers and walking trainers down there with the boots on top this is a good day as any to 
start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old one's gone under the knife, and I can feel the sun on my skin. Okay, I just want to show you what we're working with here. I have this peg rail kind of thing which I've had for ages and I really want to pop it up but what I'm doing or what I'm thinking about doing is instead of having this bench I think I'm going to get rid of that bench and actually just have like a standalone kind of like a old rustic workbench type thing like that you can put things underneath. I could pop these peg rails upstairs maybe and even have one of those like built in or like not built in but like a proper unit bench unit and have that there I'm not quite sure I'm still playing around with this area in this utility room but for now I'm just going to have a bit of a sort through of these shoes decide which ones need to go upstairs and yeah let's change up this situation What do I do here? What do I do here? <laughs> so I've just put my hand in one of these wellies of Tom's and just one, there's cobwebs at the top of it. Because <laughs> he bought these ones basically and he only wears these now. So we're going to get rid of his other ones but I don't want a spider situation. <laughs> Do I just put them straight outside and have Tom deal with it? Oh no. Oh. Okay, I think I'm gonna bring the hoover down. There might not even be any spiders in there, they're probably just old cobwebs. But, it needs a hoover anyway, so. Okay, that will do for now. At least they've got a little place to be stored. But yeah, definitely any suggestions on how I should dress this area in future. Essentially, let me stand back so you've got an idea as to how this room is kind of laid out. So we've got all of our utility space here, dog wash. And then on this side of the wall, we've got our drying racks, radiator, little cubby hole there, which has basically all of Barney's things in. He's got a little box of leads and collars above as well. Um, I think I wanna like just empty that out though. And maybe even put some little blinds on that window or something. But yeah, for this space here, what should we do? Well, I've just been filming, filming putting away some bits in my filming room, I just realized that there's a couple of bits that I I never really, I should show you, I'm gonna go in the bedroom. I never really um, got around to sharing anywhere. <laughs> so I thought I'd share it, oops, share it with you now. Let's go in the spare room actually, why not? We never go in here. Probably because there's not very good lighting to film in here. Is that okay? It'll do for now. Oh, I did pop into Wilco's the other day and it was when I was going to the range, which I did pick up one thing. I feel like I might as well show you first, but they have all their Christmas stuff out. I'm not going to say all of their Christmas stuff, but when you go in, it's like all the autumn decor has now been like pushed to the back, pushed to one side. They're kind of like spread out throughout the shop, but there's like a Christmas display when you first walk in. <laughs> and I saw this candle and I had to pick it up. I, I'm, you know, I could wait till Christmas. I don't think I'll end up waiting till Christmas, but it reminds me of the botanical candles the White Company do, even to the point where, look at the bow. This is just like a dupe for the fir tree 
white company that's one thing a lot of you have been asking about like maybe doing a dupes video i'm struggling to see things that i haven't already shown in previous dupe videos so what i'm doing is i'm just like within my vlogs like this for instance perfect white company dupe rather than a full dedicated video i'll probably do more dedicated stuff like that over on my tiktok like a full dupes reel with like over time as i accumulate a few things just throwing them into one TikTok, which I've already shown throughout vlogs. So if you want something more like that, TikTok, but yeah. Um, this one is in the scent Spruce and Cedar, dupe for their fir tree. I wouldn't say it's like the strongest scented candle. I mean, when we get burning it, maybe it will be, but I think it looks perfect. It's got a little like cinnamon, oh, they're not even cinnamon sticks. I think they're just sticks <laughs> and little leaves. But anyway, got that for six pounds from the range. But yeah, also is there, Wilco's have gone into administration. They had their administration sale on where it was like pretty much everything was 30% off. Um, and I saw these, I've seen these for a while and just never got around to getting them, thinking I don't really need them. And then the sale enticed me and I thought, oh, I'm just gonna get like one of each rather than like full sets, use them as more like one off pieces. So these plates and bowls that they do in this beautiful color, it's the color that I like the most, but they are um, like a deep olive green and they were like for maybe like two quid each, something like that. But I got this little side plate because I thought it would work well as a botanical plate for, no, a candle plate for a botanical candle like this or even one of the bigger ones from the white company. So I got that one. And then I also got the bowl, which the bowl is actually, got the ribbed on the outside, so it's just plain on the inside. So anyway, I've got those. And then, a little fashion purchase. So, I believe that I will have shown at some point in, yes, I showed it in like a bit of a capsule, no, not capsule, like a transitional wardrobe haul a while back, like a fashion haul. I just showed some new Uggs that I picked up in the, ultra minis in the color sand and then they brought out this other new color which i thought i'm gonna get these ones as well because these are also a bit of me they're in the color moss green they're called and again that kind of green <laughs> and there's a theme going on here i like my greens um yeah i just love these and i lived in my ultra minis in the color antelope and they've pretty much sold out they were like a really popular color last year um i think they've only got like a size nine left when i last looked but i'll leave these linked because honestly it's the sort of thing that you have to buy early but also you know i have worn my sand ones already and um, so i've got those and then what else have i got i've got a couple of pr bits i got this actually sent to me this is a real treat look at this from valentino oh gorgeous pr package um and i think it's um basically their perfume how nice is that so this is what they have sent there are four fragrances in here absolute spoilt for choice the new born in roma intense and look it's on like a little spinny lazy susan type thing so then what's this one born in roma okay so that's like their original born in roma and then there's the new intense version let's give it a whiff like it's gonna be quite i think you know, like i prefer the intense one. Oh, that is oh that's really nice it's like a real deep masculine i feel like it's gonna be quite a strongly scented one maybe more so suited for like evenings maybe this from amazon a uh, little blackberry harvester seeing as though the blackberries are ready to be harvested i've seen loads of people out foraging for blackberries as we have done already if you saw our little blackberry pizza that we did and yeah i just thought for future years as well it would just be really too handy to have one of these little harvesters and i've got a nice little wooden one so yeah i'll leave that linked as well if anyone else wants to go forage some blackberries and wants a little harvester i was influenced by M at home with M on Instagram. You have to follow her, for, especially for like autumn, warm, cozy goodness. She messaged me and said, 
uh, well she showed me this and I was like I'm buying it you've influenced me um smoking log cabin they do want like little gingerbread houses this is probably a bit better suited to Christmas so I might just pop it straight in the Christmas decor but essentially it's a little like log house cabin and can you see the smoke coming out from the incense you pop like a little incense cone on the inside which i've already got some incense cones so i thought in the lead up to christmas we can do that we can have a little incense cone burning station here on my locker room so you just put the cone on that little stand there light it burn it out uh, sorry, burn it out blow it out and then as like incense smokes, it, it will come out the chimney. How cute is that? And then, oh, what's this? A PR package from, I don't, I've not opened this yet. This is from the brand Colour Science. Oh, I've never, never tried this brand before. What have they spent? Very spoilt mega pr package very very lucky oh amazing okay so you guys know i love my little spf routine and they have sent three new products of which we've got a spf 50 this is called the face shield flex and then there is the face shield bronze it's got a natural looking tint in it and then this one's the total no show mineral sunscreen so excited to try these out i love like because spf is part of my routine now it's like trying a new spf is just i find it fun i feel like i know it straight away whether or not i'm gonna like it or not I like a really kind of light formula that's not gonna feel sticky and then a couple of other last little bits that i bought and wanted to mention within my vlogs this from Hobby, not Hobbycraft, Card Factory. I thought these were not dupes for the white company ones because the white company ones are metal, but kind of along the same lines of like a white company style if you were hosting in autumn to do a little tablescape. These uh, wooden leaves have jute ribbon on, so you can use them as like hanging decor. But I thought at only a pound for a four pack, you could do a little tablescape display and wrap the jute ribbon around a napkin. And yeah, I just thought that would be um, quite a cute idea. I saw them for a pound. I was like, I'm going to have to pick them up. So anyway, there's my little unboxing of a few bits there. I'm going to crack on with some more tidying now and then, and sorting. And then I'm going to show you my H&M order, which has just arrived, which I'm very excited to delve into that box and see all of the items that I've got. Because like I said earlier, bit of a switch around on the old wardrobe front. I will hopefully be able to take out some summer bits and inject some winter bits into my wardrobe. I may have as well, I'm on my knees now, I've like slowly slipped off this bed onto the floor. I may have very excitingly in the future an update with my kind of filming room. Now that we've got like the full house that I could film in and it's not necessarily I need a dedicated filming room, I want to transition it into a bit more of like a wardrobe room so I may be getting fitted wardrobes in there, which will allow for more shoe and bag storage, like in the middle of the chimney breast. And I might do a full run of wall to wall uh, wardrobes in there. And that will free up our bedroom wardrobe, which is an eyesore, like a big Ikea pack's just kind of jutting out into the room and it doesn't go. I want to put all the things that I've got in that wardrobe into my, what will be my wardrobe room. And then that'll just free up like a little alcove space in our bedroom, which I think I'll put maybe like a chair or something. I'm not sure yet, but fingers crossed. I'll go ahead with that. I will keep you guys posted on um, an update on that when I get it. But yeah, very exciting. We were closer than two of a kind. The bond was almost palpable. Solemn notes with our blood that were signed. But time 
So when I was going through my storage room, just put Barney's treats over there, um, I came across these Salter scales, which I bought for decorative purposes. I got these so long ago now, like probably over a year ago from a charity shop. I think from memory, I paid about 10 pounds for them, but I purely got them for like the decorative purposes. I don't know whether to keep the weights with them or not, because I, I probably won't ever use them. But I thought they kind of like give a warm, cozy vibe, not even just for autumn, but for all year round. So I've just popped those in the pantry i just kind of keep barney's treats there and then i also switched out this book so i had a different um cooking book here and i just thought this one looked more like cozy autumn appropriate it's called gathering setting the natural table that's another favorite book of mine i'll leave them all linked like they're, they're all on my amazon storefront to be honest with you so I'll um, leave some of my favorite kind of coffee table books, cooking books on my Amazon storefront for you to have a look through. But this one is lovely, especially if you like the idea of like foraging and really like wild, like floral displays. And yeah, just get so much inspiration from all these like coffee table books and cooking books that I just thought this one in particular had a really nice cover to sit on my wooden cookbook stand, which I got from Aldi, just there. And then this is incredibly upsetting, guys. Look, I'm basically all out for my vine tomato Dells for Farm candle. This probably is my all time favorite scent for in the kitchen, vine tomato. I've got this Urban Apothecary Rediffuser for in here vine tomato. I've actually even got a spare one of these. I like them that much I often see them in TK Maxx and home scents and then this candle burning with it honestly Divine I just have to show you this because well firstly I thought I was recording the whole thing and I wasn't but I have just sorted through all of my kind of like gift wrap Section which you guys know I like to keep I keep gift cards separately, but these are like gift bags and wrapping paper and I've just bought this one. I'll leave this exact one linked below. It's a really good quality one. I do have a smaller one, which I've just kind of moved everything from the old one into this one because it was just too small and the quality wasn't quite as good. But yeah, I'll leave both linked because if you don't need a bag, you know, for this, oops, I'm just taking that off. If you don't need, if you don't have this much stuff, then the smaller one is perfectly fine. But, but yeah, are you ready for this reveal of all my gift wrap and everything it's honestly so satisfying so this was one gift bag that didn't fit in the gift bag section but never mind and then we've got a tissue paper section here um if i unclip my gift bag how nice is this guys i mean it's the little things but oh, okay there's two gift bags that didn't fit these are wrapping paper, but they're just the sheets of wrapping paper. So I just put those on top. Otherwise, everything in there is gift wrap. There's a lot of Christmas. I will say that. I love this one. This one's my favorite. It was a Christmas edition, but I guess you could use it any time. But it's like a gift wrap from Zara Home with these tiny little gold stars on. Super pretty. And then we've got some like generic birthday ones back there. I probably could do with some more generic gift wrap i think it's because christmas i just get plenty of gift wrap each year and then there's always some left over but i like to switch up the theme each year some of them though like this star one obviously you could just use all year round anyway then this section is the kind of ribbons and then i just put this ribbon this is a really good one actually it's from costco and it's wired so you can get really like big bows on it and then this is more like gift tags and like happy birthday balloon that kind of thing balloons but yeah that is my little gift back organizer which i thought i was filming that sort out but i wasn't oh i've actually just had to put the ring light on because it's getting kind of overcast outside and a little bit dark anyway i thought i would sit down and share with you my h&m delivery I feel like I'm definitely sounding a little more <coughs> congested. So apologies, because it never sounds very good, does it, when someone's not feeling the best. Oh, 
try and get this box open. So, I'm yet to try any of these bits on. I will try and do some try on clips in time for this video going live so that you can see what they look like. I'll probably do like an Instagram reel or TikTok. Um, just to, that was my little TikTok dance. <laughs> TikTok. Anyway, oh, where to begin? I actually, oh, is this a two piece? I can't remember some of these stuff that I bought. Um, it's taken a while to get here actually. Crinkled loungewear shirt and trousers. The trousers were $24.99 in a small and the shirt was $21.99 and I got it in a medium. It's this kind of like, as it says, crinkled effect fabric, which I thought would be really nice to like lounge in, but look quite nice as well. And then obviously these sort of sets you can dress up as well and wear out. So yeah, that is the first little lounge set that I got. I appreciate this isn't like a H&M haul, so I'll try and whiz through them. I get quite a few basics in this haul. So I got this little cotton, I love their like little vests and cotton basics, t-shirts, whatever. And this is just like a little grey mild strappy vest, again for layering, cardies over the top. Be nice with like jeans and a blazer as well, just simple. I don't know how I feel about these. These were from the premium range, and I think they were in the sale, but they were about £50 and they are a pair of loafers. So I don't own a pair of loafers. I'm gonna see how I like them on me. They're giving Gucci with the whole buckle, like a horse bit buckle that Gucci do. So yeah, I just thought they were nice and simple. They are leather, so hopefully quite soft, because I feel like the reason why I don't wear loafers is because I find them uncomfortable. Got them in a size seven, I always size up in shoes that I feel like might be a bit uncomfortable. And also I do think H&M shoes size a little smaller. Let's move on, Oh, some chunky knitwear. This rib knit cardigan I thought would make a perfect little injection of cozy knitwear into my wardrobe, my autumn winter wardrobe. Look at how nice that color is, like a rich chocolate brown. It's in a large and it was 19.99. It's not too long. You could just wear with jeans or even like a little slip skirt. I think could look quite nice. And then I got these straight joggers as well. I was really excited for these. They're only 14.99. I got them in a medium and they're like a wide leg jogger. So again, just some a bit of variation on what I already own. Oh, I definitely could have done a full haul here. I've actually got quite a few things. Okay, this next set, let me just have a look at the price on my phone. Rib knit flared trousers. The bottoms were $27.99 in a medium. And then the rib knit top at $21.99 in a medium again. Just getting set and prepped for autumn winter with all of these new essentials. I will obviously decide which ones I'll keep and send back once I've tried them all on. Oh wow, these feel lovely. They yeah, are looking at these bottoms in a medium. That waistband is gonna to be too big for me. I can already tell. I'll try them on anyway, and if I'm wearing them for comfort, then maybe I won't mind the larger size, but that's what the top looks like. It's kind of like a super soft knit, but really, really stretchy. This jumper I got in a medium at $21.99. Ooh, this one's a little less soft. This one's more, I imagine, would be more of a layering jumper over like a basic white tee or something in winter. But it's got a much thicker rib, that one. I got a white version of the oversized crinkle shirt, but I didn't pick up the trousers. So I think they were out of stock in my size. So I'll see how I like the black set and see if I decide to keep this and wait for the trousers or just literally stick with the shirt. But it's a really nice fabric. Definitely one that you can, like I said earlier with the black set, dress up. But yeah, in a medium, this one at $21.99. Okay, lace trimmed slip dress in a medium at $19.99. Bought one recently from Primark that I was thinking about wearing it as like a slip dress that you could also wear it as a skirt, like throw a jumper on over the top but it just didn't quite fit right, so I decided to send it back. So I thought I would try this one in a medium, yeah. The laciness makes it more of like night wear as outerwear. It's got adjustable straps, really nice fabric, really nice color. It does have a really big slit on the back though. So I don't know how I feel about that. I think I'd prefer it to not have the slit, because otherwise then it makes it look too much like a slip dress. Oh, I don't like the look of this knit. Oh no, I tell a lie. Mm, I don't know, it's got like a dark thread running through it. It is nice 
from a distance but I'm not sure how I feel about that black thread. In a medium, it was only $18.99 and it is very, very soft. Again, with jeans or a little slip skirt or something. Although, having said that, there's a little bit of fluff on my leggings from having just held it up then. So, I haven't got time for like picking up fluff everywhere. So I'll probably send it back for that reason. Oh, I thought it was another version of that ribbed knit set but it's actually a dress this one and it is slightly different oh yeah again nice and soft this is a bit more of like a bodycon style which i don't always wear but i do feel like if you again want to dress a dress up for like autumn and winter whilst it being a comfortable dress like paired with boots and a little leather jacket this maxi ribbed dress was from the divided section in a small 19.99 that's a bargain i got this um it's like a knit skirt but it's like it's quite it's kind of a greeny color i wasn't sure but it was in a small it was only 14 pounds and i thought i'm going to try that again for like autumn winter with the chunky boots it's got the little slit at the back the kind of ribbed hem along the bottom and yeah i mean i'd give it a try even like transitional with like a little basic boxy white tee tucked in and some like Vasia trainers or superba trainers could be quite nice so this is a cropped they call it a cropped sweatshirt it's basically like a sweatshirt material but sleeveless and cropped so it's yeah i don't know i just quite liked this i love the color of it in a medium just a little boxy super soft and comfy this really was a bargain as well this is oh i've just got lipstick on my jumper this is only four pounds get yeah, here it is oh okay that's a matching oh yeah okay this is a set as well i do love a cord they call it a slit hem pencil skirt at six pounds in a medium and it's like a how do i describe this it's a thinner knit this one kind of like a toweling material knit got the slit along the back and then the top to go with it it's actually quite because it's quite thin I would say on warmer days you could wear this or I don't know yeah you'd want to layer it up with a nice I suppose you could put again like tights and boots and jacket over the top but that's the top version the top is quite big oh wow that's only a medium it must be an oversized fix. I would say that looks quite big. Cropped vest top to go with it is four pounds. Not bad. $19.99 in a dark brown in a size 10. Uh, a pair of their trousers. I, oops, I love wearing these trousers. They do them in loads of different colors. They're just so comfy and so versatile that I thought I'm gonna try a darker color, which again, a bit different for me because I've got these in the lighter kind of nude beige kind of shades but yeah i've never had any pair of like trousers like this in this color they do have the slight stretch on the band at the back which just makes it nice and comfortable as well but yeah i got these in a size 10 nice and high waisted if like me high waisted is the only way now i don't think i will ever go back to wearing anything low again got this pair of jeans these are wide ultra high waist i did get these in a size 12 but yeah the wide fit makes me think yeah wider leg i'll see how these fit on i feel like the jeans you never know really until you try them on but i love the color of them they were 27.99 then last but not least i've had a, a bit of a clear out of cull of my winter coats autumn winter coats and i thought um i just stick with real capsule capsule pieces that i know that i will get my wear out of so i've already got a leather jacket and a trench coat both of which i love so i thought one like this would be quite a good staple to to buy and it was only 50 pounds and it's just a like a woolen it's actually quite nice and soft in a medium just a simple like camel well it's not camel but you know what i mean simple nude coat but yeah that's everything that i got from h&m my little h&m order what should we do now i feel like just a little bit more cracking on with sorting through stuff as much as i can get done today ahead of decorating next week for autumn anyway i just want to the main thing i suppose is getting on top of all of the 
autumn decorations, which I feel like I'm, I'm there now anyway. Um, but yeah, I will leave links to all of these H&M bits down below in the description box if you want to check them out yourself. Don't ask me why I'm ending this video here, but here we are, sat on the stairs. <laughs> I feel like I can take take my hair out now. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed prepping for autumn with me. I hope you have maybe had a bit of motivation to do a bit of cleaning today. Who knows? Whatever you took from this video, whether it was just time spent with me, relaxing, enjoying this time together, then yeah, thank you. Thanks for each and every one of you. Honestly, every single view. Yes, you I'm talking to, you. Every single individual view means so much to me and allows me to create content like this as my full-time job, which honestly, I pinch myself every day. I really do. But anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. We all know that prepping for autumn means only one thing, that next week I will be at some point decorating for autumn and sharing my autumn decor with you. That will probably be on Sunday's video. I might have another vlog in between now and then. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you once again to HelloFresh for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to take advantage of that incredible offer of 60% off your first box, 25% off your next eight. I will leave the code on screen linked below, along with the QR code linked on screen as well for you to start trying it today. But yeah, thanks to them. Thanks to you guys for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.